Hey guys, it's Hannah here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing my April bullet journal setup and for this month I decided to do this Peter Rabbit slash kind of garden theme. I really liked how it turned out. It had this different kind of elegant and simple theme and it was quite different style towards how I normally do it. So a lot of the inspiration I got was through Pinterest. When I searched up different like Peter Rabbit themes, I found that a lot of the colors are actually quite muted. This is towards more of the original book. It had a lot more like muted tones and colors. However, the cartoon is probably a bit more bright. So the colors I used was mainly this burnt kind of orange color. I had a blue for Peter Rabbit's jacket, some different tones of browns and some greens, some being kind of olivey toned just to give it a bit more contrast between the two different greens that I had. So on the right hand side I drew Peter Rabbit. I didn't really want to do like Peter Rabbit as like a whole um with like its eyes and like facial expressions and everything as I thought one it's kind of like I couldn't feel bothered but it's it's kind of hard to draw I think just drawing the mouth and the eyes and getting that all right and if I messed it up it's kind of hard to go back so I just decided to do the silhouette and that also gave it a kind of more elegant feel and it didn't seem too kiddish. On the top I also did a garden patch because this is meant to look like Mr. McGregor's garden and here I just did a whole bunch of different vegetables and mostly just greens and yeah. I also did some other types of animals except uh, along with Peter Rabbit. So I did some like little hamsters and stuff, just whatever kind of was in the story originally and I just thought that, that was really cute as well. I also decided to add some sunflowers just to get a bit of a pop of colour instead of having so much green here and there. On the kind of back side, on the left hand side, I also decided to do this kind of brick wall along with a fence. This is cause they actually have a fence normally anyways and it gives it kind of a grounding point instead of having it just fade off into the distance. With the different leaves for that kind of archway on top of the fence. It was just really easy. I just did a whole bunch of blobs in different colors and I like that kind of messy kind of feel. Just leaving it like this looked a bit bare and plain because I had too much white space. So to fix this out a bit, I used a brown coloring pencil and this just helped to kind of show where the ground is instead of having everything float in space. So for the outlines, I decided to use my Pentel Energel X pen and this is in 0.3. This helps kind of having it like a thin fine liner kind of thing and it gives it that sketchy kind of hand drawn look because that's how it looked like in the book and I purposely did sketchy lines and didn't really care too much of where it went and I also added those like black lines across for like that shadow look. So to finish off the front cover page I just coloured in the sky and wrote April in a nice cursive font. So onto the next page. This is my monthly spread and also here I mainly just did drawings on the ground like 
on the bottom of the page so the top is quite empty for most of the spreads that I did but this is what kind of made it a bit more simple and elegant rather than having many different doodles across the whole entire page. So on the bottom I just drew Peter Rabbit. I have I think one Peter Rabbit in at least one of the pages on each of my spreads that I did because that is kind of the main theme I'm going for and here I also just copied a whole bunch of those different vegetables. So for the actual calendar part I just did like simple boxes that are all connected. Um, yeah, it's just pretty simple. There's not many ways I guess you can really do the monthly spread. But I just liked how this worked out all together. And for the titles of each of the days, I did that in the same cursive. And I just drew a small circle in the top left corner, just in the tan colour to write the different numbers. So onto the next page, this is where I do my like reflections and goals. I've now said this before but I think it's a really good idea just so you have a few ideas of what you really want to accomplish for each month as it is kind of hard to have like do so many little things so maybe if you have like a list of some bigger things to do each month then once you tick it off you can just feel really accomplished. On the bottom I drew Peter Rabbit just holding a bunch of different carrots and on the right hand side I did the typical um the kind of like a scarecrow instead it's with Peter Rabbit's jacket that's what they did in the movie that's what Mr. McGregor did just to kind of scare off all the other rabbits. Basically all the titles I did was in a cursive font but if I needed any subheadings I did that in all caps just to give it a bit more of a contrast. On the left hand side is where I did my goals and reflections and on the other side of the page is where I did a brain dump and I categorized this into prayer, thankful and thoughts and yeah. So this is the last spread for this month as April is during school holidays so I don't think I need actually that much space. I only used half a page but if I ever needed more space or if I wanted to add something on later I'll just use the other half of the page then. So I just drew a whole bunch of those plants and pots and another one of those Peter Rabbits and on the top I just wrote the to-do list. So this is going to be it for my April bullet journal setup. I hope you've enjoyed it, even though I've had a bit of a different style this time, a bit more elegant and simple. Hopefully you found some inspiration here. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And comment down below any theme suggestions that you'd like to see me do. See you guys next time. Bye!